I can't remember much of it now, you know. But uh, Arch was look, it was a good, it was a good feeling, a good, a good place to have been at the time, and great experience to gain. But uh, unfortunately, sure, the Kilkenny powers were there, and they were, they were very hard to take down. And it, it has taken nearly ten years to, to, for that to happen. But it was a bit surreal. I was only a nineteen-year-old, and I, everything was coming at a hundred miles an hour, and we were getting caught up in the moment. But I thought I'd be there every year after that. But it took eleven years to get there, and. Unfortunately, I'm that'll be older and that'll be greyer, so at least we're there now and um, there's no point in being there, but we have to try and clasp it with the two hands, you know. You walk into a dressing room and you're, you're listening to lads in the corner, they're 19 years of age and they're talking about something that they saw on Twitter or on, uh, on Facebook and you, you, you only half get it, but uh, there's a difference between a 19 year old and pushing 30, 31 year old, you know, so the crack is good, uh, the, 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 the atmosphere is excellent in training and, and lads have great respect for each other and we, we really get on well, so I mean, it's, it's how Fitzy has done so well in, in, in bonding us together and, and to get us to, to work so well as a team is, is, is the most enjoyable part of that as well. A lot of the guys be coming on the bus and so on there and you, you'll be wondering about their attire, the likes of uh, Tony and Podge and those, uh, you'd have to be raising an eyebrow the odd time, but I suppose they'd raise the eyebrow at me too, see what I'm wearing, you know, so uh, there's, there's a lot of them be calling me Abe Simpson there because the old, the old man of the team, but uh, Look, at the, the, the crack is good. I mean, when, when Dale was over it and when I was getting on the bus, I was looking up to Colin Lynch and, you know, you, you were kind of half afraid to sit down beside him. But that's not the case at the moment with our lads. Our lads, will, they're fine and bold and they're, they're not afraid of anything and they're not afraid to make a mistake. And I suppose that's why they're the types of characters that they are, you know. My own club is Clooney Quinn. Um, we won an intermediate championship in 2000 and seven and uh, we won the Munster Club with Bishopstown of Cork, Park Rowan and Shane O'Neill are actually playing the same day in the Munster Club final which is a big day for our club, probably the biggest day that, that I've ever had for our club and uh, when Clare won their first All-Ireland in 1914 uh, the captain was Envy Power and he came from Quinn uh, so it would be great to, to emulate him and try and bring back a, an All-Ireland medal. It's the most lonesome place you'll ever be, you're, you're as a team in the dressing room, you're as a team going out in the field was you're on a team afterward, but at that very moment, you're standing there with your thoughts alone, and with whatever 80,000 people watching you, you're in a lonesome place, and it's dog eat dog at that time, and it's it's either you or him, and I know it's it's a tea game, but you have to look at it as an individual as well, and it's it, it's, it's it can be a daunting moment, but it's, it's the way we kind of take it is that we throw our shoulders back, and we're we try to be afraid of nothing and take it on, you know.